Hello, clip art friends. I have a new file that I'm going to be uploading. Hello, it's Raquel here. Today I'm going to show you how to make your balloons look more realistic. I have done videos like this in the past, but I think I have refined it. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have a blank sheet here and I'm just going to pull up some clip art. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and ungroup it. Okay, so this is currently color schemed, meaning I can come up here and I can change all the colors quickly, right? Or I can go in and edit. Let me come up to the top here. I can edit a scheme and I can change my colors up here if I wanted to do that. And the colors start to change. So there is another way that you can go ahead and modify this. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of these to begin with. And what I'm going to do is a shape format and I'm going to do a shape fill, but I'm going to do it as a picture. And what I have done is I've gone in here and I have cropped all of the solid agate, chrome, jewel and pearl Qualitex balloons and a few of their printed ones. I did some spray ones just to try it out. Um, I've done all of these and um, I discovered that by cropping them down into a circle, I can use them as a fill much easier. So let's just go ahead and change everything to a copper. I don't know why that one shows up in the back. I just deleted that. And then if I go in here to shape outline, I can go ahead and pick a different outline color. And it just kind of softens it up. That's kind of yellowy there. So if I don't like that color, I can always go in to more outline colors and I can pick something that is maybe more to my suiting. Okay, I like that a lot better. And then I can select it all and I can go up here and I can add a shadow and really make it pop. So you saw how easy that was. So let's say I wanted to sprinkle in, I don't know, another color in here. So I can select a color. I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm just going to start selecting some random colors here to show you how this technique works. Okay. So now I'm going to go up here to shape fill again and I'm going to select picture. And let's say just for kicks and giggles, I wanted to add, let's see, we got copper going on. Let's say I just wanted to add some chocolate brown in there. Okay, there's the chocolate, but you can see the outline is still kind of that orangey color. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the outline color to something maybe a little more chocolatey. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, I like that much better. So now let's say I wanted to, um, I don't know, add in maybe some blush to kind of soften it up a little bit. So we can go in here to shape fill. We're going to pick picture. And I can go in with the blush. There we go. And again, I can change my shape outline to, I don't like that. Let's do maybe something a little softer. There we go. So that is something pretty cool. Now I do have the tools in my quick access toolbar. So let me show you how that works. If you're someone who uses a quick access toolbar, I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of them there. I'm going to select my insert picture button and I can go in here and let's just pick something really obvious. I can go in and just do my agates. I'm going to go ahead and change my outline color too from my quick access toolbar. I'm going to go gray on those just like that. So there you go. So now with these, um, because the agate is cropped as a single type of balloon, if I wanted to show a little more variation, I'm going to hold my shift key down. I'm going to drag it to make it a little bit bigger. And what I can do here is I can go ahead and I can rotate it. I can rotate it. Oh, let's see here. Oh, you know what it's doing? it's rotating the picture. That's not what I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one back. Um, let's do an insert picture. That's what I needed to do. Okay, so now I've got this as a picture and now I can flip it around and I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it a couple more times and I'm going to show some different uh, looks to it. I'm going to show one upside down 
and I'm going to show one maybe rotated the other way. So now I've got some variation. So now I can go in here and I can save it as a picture. I'm going to select the same one, but I'm going to put an A at the end of this one. I'm going to select this one, save as picture. I'm going to call this one, whoops, I'm going to call this one B. And we're going to call this one C. Yep. So we'll just come down here and change that to a C. So now I have four different types of agate balloons, and that gives me a little more variety. So now what I can do, I'm going to get rid of these guys here, is I can pick, I don't know, several different balloons, let's say, and I can go ahead and do, where's my insert? I can do my insert and I'm going to make these A. Then I'm going to select some more and I'm going to change these out to maybe B. And that way, uh, it helps to show some of the different varieties of, of how that balloon can actually show up, right? So they're not all angled the, the, exactly the same way. So it's not a perfect solution, uh, but it certainly is better than taking a bunch of pictures of the balloons and, you know, trying to show the different variations of them. So that was something kind of cool that I did there. And to, uh, so let me go ahead and open up PowerPoint. I'm just going to do a blank presentation here. So um, just forgive me for a while, but what I want to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and take this fellow. I'm going to group it, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm having a tough time today. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to take it over here to PowerPoint and I'm going to do a paste and I'm going to keep my source formatting. Okay, so now I can come in here and I can ungroup this and I can change my colors. I went ahead and added my picture fill button to my toolbar. So I can do all my normal stuff with it here too. Okay, I just changed all my colors to the blooms. So let's say I wanted to do, um, let's do, let's do shades of purple. So I've got my purple and I'm going to go ahead and change my line color. I change it to purple also. And let's go ahead and pick a few of these down here and let's change those to the chrome purple and this is just to show you how easy this is to do and that's that's okay and then let's go ahead and uh, yeah let's go ahead and pick these and then I'm going to go ahead and hold my shift key down and pick up the rest of these so I don't like working in PowerPoint. It's not quite as clean, but it does work. So let's go down here and see if we can't find, oh, let's do a pearl lavender. And I'm gonna change that color. I don't see one in the palette that I like. So I'm gonna to go to more outline colors and, uh, it's not real close. We'll try that one. That's too bright. We'll try that one. I don't like that either. So we're gonna, do a control Z to undo that and I'm going to go in and I'm going to look for another color. So you can see how easy this is. Okay, that's a little bit better. So it was that quick. These are actual images of balloons. That's pretty quick and easy. Um, if you notice, I'm going to make these a little bit bigger here. I'm going to hold my shift key down to make the balloons bigger. And if you'll notice, there is a transparency to them. This is the jewel purple one. So uh, the, the purple balloons 
Okay, I'm going to do an insert picture. And I have these sorted by J for the jewel tone. So let's go ahead and pick a few jewel tones here just to show you that they do show up a little bit transparent. So you can see that there, there's a little bit of a transparency to them. The clear is quite transparent, obviously diamond clear. If you wanted to make it a little more transparent, you can come in here to format picture and uh, hmm. actually I haven't figured out how to do that in PowerPoint yet, but I do know how to do it in Publisher. So let's go back here to Publisher and do the insert picture and pick out the jewel tones again. Pick out, uh, do the diamond clear also. Okay, so these are, you can see that they're a little transparent. That one's not very transparent for a jewel tone. So let's go ahead and make that one more transparent. So I can go into format picture and I can add to the transparency. But when you do that, it starts to change the color a little bit. So you might have to play with the uh, the color. Uh, what am I trying to say? The brightness and the contrast, right? So you can make it a little less bright. You can add more contrast and it's going to change the color like it's a little bit darker now. I'll show you how you can do it. So if you do uh, copy and paste so that you've got another one that's identical to it and you take out all the formatting, make this back to 50, 50, and zero, then you can compare it to the original picture, right? So you can see how that one's got a lot more gray to it. So if you're really super picky about these things and you want to sit there and play around and try to get it exact, that's how you can do that. So I've got the transparency, the color is still a little gray, but now you have the tools, you have the knowledge so that you can play with, your, play with it yourself. So I think these are really cool knowing how to work with the clear balloons. I can sit there and I can layer them back in like that so it's sitting uh, behind this balloon but in front of this balloon so you've got some of those features in there. So those are some of the new things I'm working on. Um, again, I only have this uh, for the Qualitex colors right now. If I see a demand for more of the printed balloons, I can add more of the printed balloons. I am going to be working on a library for Vitalik as well. Their pictures are a lot harder to work with because they're smaller and there's they have a background on them uh, where it took me not not terribly long to do it in, to, to format the Qualitex pictures. Vitalik just still has not gotten on board with reformatting all of their images yet. So hopefully they will someday and it'll be a lot easier to work their colors into the design. So this is, um, I think, an easier way of, of building decor. Oh, let me go ahead and show you uh, what it looks like to I'm going to insert just another blank page. I'm going to show you what it's like if you wanted to do, say, classic decor. Those are some hideous colors. Oh, that's because I changed my my uh, color scheme. So let's go ahead and come in here and change all my red balloons. I'm just going to do half the half of it here, and I'm going to go do a picture fill. And let's say. Um, We'll just go ahead and do a red one. So those are now red. And of course, I'm going to come in and I'm going to change my line color to something a little bit darker. And those were obviously jewel colors because I can see through them. So let's go ahead and do the green ones here. And we'll pick a uh, jewel green, jewel emerald. So all the Qualitex balloons start with a Q and then you go to the J section to get to the jewel tones. The rest of them are just by their name, so they're kind of mixed in there. So all the opaque ones are together, or are, yeah, they're just in there. And let's do a, a green outline. Okay, so you can see how the transparent balloons are working. I think adding jewel tones to our organic work will help set us apart 
from a lot of the uh, new DIYers that are coming in and underselling us. You know, starting to add some more, uh, some different textures, some different effects, I think is a good idea. I'm going to make that orange because if I do it yellow, you won't be able to see it. I don't think I would do jewel in classic decor. I don't like how the colors blend, but other people do. So obviously this is another option. Your picture fill can also be found in the fill button too. Many ways to get to the different tools. So as I was saying, um, I think playing around with some of the balloons that maybe they can't necessarily find um, out there might be a way for us to maintain some of the value. So there you go. That's replacing them with the actual balloons, the jewel tones, which have some transparency to them. It looks completely different than this side where it's just filled. Now, of course, even though this arch was color schemed, if I go in and I try to change my color scheme, um, that's not going to work anymore because I have all of these balloons now as a picture fill. So I lose the color scheme feature when I do that. All right, so that's the downside, but the plus side is it looks great. So there you have it. This will be, um, this is up on Etsy. I will have a new category for latex balloons. So if you have any questions, as always, uh, please message me. Thank you.